Hi, this is Ben Baldwin, um, Baldwin Tech and Games. I am going to review with you um, plugins for today. Um, that's probably the last element, um, you know, before you have all the tools that you need to put your website together. And I'll make some others, um, you know, as, as time arises. So um, there are a few plugins that I like. Um, you can find plugins under your plugin menu. Um, you can see what's already pre-installed. Um, you can install more. Um, if they're causing a problem, you don't want to have too many plugins installed. You can go ahead and um, deactivate the ones you know that you're not using or whatever. I only have a. It, these are the ones that it came with. You can install new plugins. Some sometimes your themes will come with plugins, and sometimes it'll suggest you know you need to install these plugins. It'll give you a list, and you just need to press install. But there are a few plugins I um, have liked. And so I'm going to go ahead and search for those, and um, we're going to install those plugins. I'm just going to show you how to do that. Um, the first one is a 404 um, page plugin. Now this is um, a 404 page is basically a um, a page where if someone comes to your site to a broken link, um, it'll just say error. But you can actually write a page to take care of that. So if it comes, they meet a broken link and you say, well, um, sorry, the link didn't work, I'll fix it. And this, this actually also um, sends you some messages or it keeps a log of, you know, um, how many, what pages are broken, broken or what links are not working for people. So you can then go in and try to discover where they're coming from and, and how to fix that. And you can write a page that says, I'm sorry, you know, the link's broken. These are some uh, popular um, sites or pages or posts on my um, website. Um, or, you could, or you could sign up for my newsletter or whatever. So that, that's a good one. So I'm just going to install these and activate them. Um, if, you, if you like these, you can go back in and you can um, search for them and and you know um, there you once they're activated you actually need to go in and set up the settings and everything and obviously on this one you'd have to go into that that page so the next one that i'd like to um add here is a buttons one i found a really cool buttons plugin um that i like um it has customizable buttons and i just think sometimes a button is better than having a link so this buttons plugin is called, and all of these that I'm going to install today are um, free. Um, so you don't have to really pay for them. There are paid versions of these. For instance, this button uh, X is the light version. You can get a paid version where you can do a lot more customization or you can use images uh, as well in your buttons. Um, but this one's this one's just a free one. Um, go ahead and install install that um, you know you can go in there and set it up you actually set up the button separately before you go ahead and and, and do your post and then it gives you a short code um, you know a, a thing to put in your post to um, have that button active so while that's activating there you go that, that's where you would um, set set all up but I'm actually going to go back and do that later so let's go ahead and add another one i like um when you have your website oh sorry i don't know what's happened there um sometimes when you have your website um i showed you how to do the favicon the, the favicon is a little image that uh shows up next to your your url uh, for your website and um also if you're gonna, if someone's going to install your website on their mobile device <clears throat> so favicon i don't know if this is going to favicon uh real favicon generator by that's the one i like yep um this is a really cool plugin because you're able to customize it and um, see how what your site will sites favicon or the image the logo will appear on a lot of different things on an android on an iphone on you know um safari on um you name it so it it's it's really good um i think it's good anyways 
Um, I also like, a, um, sometimes it's hard to edit your header and footer um, so that I um, got, uh, this is a header, a footer, um, no, that's not going to work. Oh, sorry, I'm supposed to be adding new. I'll just copy and paste it. I'm like actually looking at a list here. So it's um, loading up the new ones to, to search for those. Um, so this is um, somewhere where you can just go um, in easily and edit your header and footer. Um, um, just something where you can put text, sometimes like Google tracking or Facebook pixels or um, those sorts of things if you want to put them in your header or footer. Um, this allows you to make those edits. So just a, a, a quick one there. Um, also, um, PayPal. So I there's the the Marketplace app that uh, sorry not the Marketplace but it comes with um, I don't know some sort of uh, software for Marketplace. But I I don't really sell a lot on my website, and so. Um, if I do sometimes sell something or ask for a donation or something, um, I just put a, a simple PayPal button in there. And so um, this is the one I like. Once you get it all set up and everything, it's pretty easy to just then, um, you know, place a button in. And this, this one just simply uh, has the button, opens it in a new page where you can, um, you know, take that payment. So I really like that one. It doesn't like I do a shopping cart or anything. But like I said, you can you can always go in and, and search for other things like that. Okay, another really ha ha helpful one is short codes um, ultimate. Um, this gives you lots of little codes that you can uh, quickly install, like um, things on your on your site. Um, I. I've, I've enjoyed it and found it very help, helpful. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Social box, one um, that I've used called social box, so it helps you share, like every time you post, um, you can post, you can have something, your post shared to like um, YouTube or Vimeo or Twitter or something like that. So it's called social box. Do oh, why don't I just um, copy from here? Oh, well, let's skip that one. Um, here is another one called Swift e Image. Okay, that was really good just to put an image like um, on, as a widget, an image on the side. Um, yeah, that's it. And table of contents, this is a really nice one. Table of contents. So you can you can set this one. Oh, sorry, let's add another one. You can set this one so that if you have over so many things on your website, um, it will, um, sorry, on your web post or page, it will then automatically create a collapsible table of contents. Um, it's really handy when, you know, if you want to send someone straight to a certain part on your page or if you want people to be able to navigate um, through it pretty easily. So um, that and um, and YouTube. Um, I've got a YouTube uh, plugin that I really like and I want to install that. Um, YouTube. And this one's by Embed Plus Team. That's it. That's the one. I really like this one. It has a lot of, um, and there's a there's there's the free version. There's a paid version as well. But this one has all the things that you should need to do your YouTube videos. So that's it for plugins. Um, you can see all the installed plugins I have. Um, if you see something that you don't like, um, you know you can go ahead and just deactivate it or un uninstall it um, and you know move things around. You don't want to have too many plugins um, working on your website because it may um, slow things down. Um, and so yeah, 
Yeah, so that's plugins for you. Yep, you saw it here first. Bye.